Hi Geminis, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your November 2017 Finance and Romance Reading. Thank you for stopping by, those of you who are new, and thank you also to those of you who continually receive readings and or provide comments and information as to how these energies have uh, brought about blessings in your path. Thank you very much. It helps me to continue to enjoy what it is I'm doing day to day. All right, so I'm starting out with a word of prayer from the Doreen Virtue Mary Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Aries with clearly, uh, Aries, I'm sorry, <sighs> Gemini, with clearly defined messages regarding Gemini's life path here on earth at this time on into the future. A word of prayer, please, that we can close with at the end. Thank you. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is finances. And by doing so, I'm going to use the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason, and I'm going to be combining it in a circle spread with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. So finances and career. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Gemini with clearly defined messages regarding their career and finance energies for the month of November 2017. Thank you. So, the card representing your current life path here on Earth at this time, Geminis, is, uh, well, you guys have all of the elements of the magician to be able to manifest that which you would like to at this time financially. I'm going to be combining this again with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Gemini with clearly defined messages regarding their career and financial energies on into and through the month of November 2017. Thank you. All right, so speaking your truth as you manifest that which you want to create in your path. Clearly expressing yourself to others and then observing and having the magician energies to be able to tell if someone is dealing with you in an honest way. Now in your mental aspects position, spirit saying that some of you have been waiting for something to come together over a period of time and then boom, it comes quicker than you expect. This could be a contract, a client, and it's gonna bring great harmony. Now in your relationship sector, and this has to do with business connections, for some of you, you're just taking a time out to start new beginnings. Resting and reminiscing on three of the four swords that you uh, used in battle, and now taking this final sword to say, you know what, I'm moving in a new direction, I'm gonna be clear about that with my throat chakra, and I'm going to, in my creative, inspirations position. I'm going to be clear with others about my goals, my dreams, my boundaries, and my who I will or will not let in my path. When So Spirit's asking for you to be patient as you are doing so. Be kind with that sword, but be clear about what it is you want and don't. Use that throat chakra as you are patient and planning some new beginning that you're trying to allow people to come into. Move cautiously and clearly. Now in your actions position, they're saying choose wisely when it comes to an offer. Um, yeah, you'll have a little bit of time to really observe what's on offer. So in your actions right now, slow down a little bit, Geminis, and look at what's involved in an offer. I think though, if you're hoping for it, it could manifest. You've got the Druid energies, like the Magician, to start this new beginning. And there's harmony here. In your emotional aspects position, we've got mental conflict because of a gift you are waiting for spirit to fill for you. 
So get clear about exactly what it is that you want and speak it to others. Make sure you decide who's in this with you and who is not, who's being honest and who is not. In your subconscious aspects, spirit saying to have hope. When it comes to taking all your experience and knowledge and moving it in a new direction to manifest something new. Practical matters. Day to day. Working with some things that are pretty darn deep that you need to let go of by doing something creative. And creative could be something as simple as, okay, I'm going to write down the goals I want to express. I'm going to plan this or that. I'm going to create a list of who or what I'm going to be involved with in this plan, in this new beginning. And it's going to come quicker than you expect. So know that you have the energies of the strength card to accept the rewards. You've worked for the rewards. And look at with this. Recognition and reward, they're saying, are your inner strengths. All you got to do is continue every day to choose wisely when it, you come into connection with others and to express yourself. Use the magician energies to see if you want to keep them in or out of this path or not. The card representing the entire reading has to do with some opposition. Normally, in the Rider Waite deck, the, card, the swords are crossed. Um, to me, when I see that they're uncrossed, I think you're actually stepping out of having to make a difficult choice and wanting to get into a higher level in however that applies, spiritually, financially. You have the energies of courage at this time to follow some sort of passion that's been ignited. As you guys start taking these steps in this new direction, getting excited, even though you're not even sure exactly where this path is going to lead you, may have to do with travel. Some of you need to do this to go find the answers. It will help you somehow to work through emotional loss. Some of you are trying to deal with suffering by passion but you're feeling restricted conflicted defeated you may be feeling like you're suffering in silence when it comes to finances and or just imbalance in general but know that at this time Spirit's trying to guide you in this new path of yours. This new idea, this new beginning. You are walking the earth alone with the animals and you get to decide who and what is best for you. And, you know, with the new moon coming on, what, Thursday, the 19th tomorrow, oh my goodness, that's when we're going to start making decisions. We've got like a four-week period of really deciding, you guys. Am I going to sit here and remain feeling defeated with heartache and loss? Or am I going to connect with a spiritual union? Allow my heart to be open so I can learn about myself through a connection. That appears to be very karmic. A soul contract of working and coming together with someone. I also felt love strongly there. For some of you, you're moving forward with love. I cannot ignore it. We have being prudent and cautious, but understanding also that some sort of connection is meant to take place to teach you something about yourself. And this could be financially or in a love way. So that's just a little additional message. Now, I only pull in messages for so many people in these readings. If you'd like a personal reading so I can pull your direct energies, my email address is there and my information is in the box below. All right, so let's move into spiritual guidance again. 
speak of that which you'd like to manifest. Remain creatively busy on a new path. Apply what you've learned to create something more successful, but that remaining busy will help for you guys to work through, through some sort of an emotional What do I want to say? Almost like ashes, things that need to be left behind now. Working through it, getting to the other side of it. That's in your practical position, so some of you need to just take some quiet time to figure out who were you, how are you now, who are you now, and what do you want? We can manifest anything we so choose in our life, but we have to take the steps to go and get it. Take some time to look at your reflection. Don't sit, some of you, not all of you, in a position of feeling deceptive or envying a circumstance or situation. Know what it is you have to offer and then see if they want to offer the same. And I really feel that was financial, actually. But So I feel like some of these uh, love and financial energies are mirroring each other somehow. I don't know how. Let me know how these are working with you. All right, let's move into, I guess I'll do, I have a little more time here. I'm going to do spiritual guidance for finances, just to bring a little more clarity for Geminis, please. This is the Angel Answers deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Gemini with clearly defined spiritual guidance. Okay, they're saying you're ready right now. Take action. Boom. In your thoughts. Some of you are focused on success and they're saying continue heading that way. There may have to be some compromise for some of you guys in your foundation. Make sure everything's balanced and fair on both ends if you are connecting with a business partner and or client. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. Got a couple cards in there. This is the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. For clarification, please, of the angel answers, spiritual guidance, Celtic spread before us. Thank you. All right, so they're saying you're ready. Look at that. To step into that new creative path, to get going in this minute. As we become creative and happy and fulfilled with some sort of project or idea, it actually helps for us to heal. Take action. Even though there are obstacles and challenges, they're saying take action right now. In your thoughts, some of you want to come together and manifest something with someone and there will be success. You or someone else may have different skills, but when you bring them together, it's like a child being born. It's a beautiful thing. In your foundation, We've got compromise. Hmm. How are we going to compromise and make things work out at this business location? So I'm seeing that as a business. In the recent past, something wasn't the right time because Spirit was waiting for you guys to learn about something, maybe to let go of something so that you can grow to a higher level spiritually. And now you're able to step over the obstacles and challenges because spirits providing you with the energy to take action they're telling you that you are ready in the next two to three weeks remain positive because passion is being ignited with something that you guys were hoping to have success with regards to something you wanted to be successful with give birth to in the next four to six weeks Connect with spirit. Spirit wants you to meditate on what it is you want so they can hear you, so they can see, so they can help assist you when it comes to giving birth to this new path. Material harvest is being provided with that card saying that what you put in, you will receive out. What you sow, you reap, reap or sow. Whatever, however. So, and spirit's uh, message is to look for a sign. Look at that. When it comes to partnerships and alliances. 
hopes and fears. Hoping, of course, for abundance, but fearing emotional loss. And I just felt that in the fear section with your heart to some of you, not all of you, that somebody is fearing emotional loss. There's not enough trust and there needs to be. Um, so yes, in your outcome position, Gemini's, we've got a peaceful resolution. And then you still trying to deal with or carry old conflict and defeat. So how can you fully celebrate the great things around you if you are still dealing with old conflict and defeat? New things cannot come in for you guys until you let that go. In a three card summary to my left. Heal, 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 release, and forgive. Anything and anyone from the past so blessings can come in. Whatever you guys are conflicted about or feeling defeated about, that's the only thing that's going to block you, and it's going to block you financially. All right? The energies are very too overwhelming. They're taking up too much of your life path, and they're going to affect... Pardon me. <laughs> um, yeah, your financial area. So we don't want that. Hold on, real quick, I gotta clean up my mess. Now in a three card summary to my left, with the same Psychic Tarot cards, representing the first week and a half to two weeks, there will be celebration. So communicate with someone now, work out that peaceful resolution. Handshake, shake your hands with a partnership, Make an alliance somehow. Triumph and success is coming your way, this new path. Be patient. There will be a fulfillment of wishes because of this spiritual union. New beginnings in the next two to three weeks. Take some time to emotionally withdraw, maybe because of the change. Some form of big change here. Someone might be having mental conflict when it comes to sacrificing. You know, when you move in a new direction, you let go of an old direction. Some may be fearing finances, financial and material changes. But once you see the light of what this truly is, I think you guys are really going to start to stand by and support it 100%. Again, I keep seeing like transformational energies that are harsh coming in here. So try and think about letting go, you know, think about putting whatever that is, whatever area of your life it is that keeps you feeling down, sad, depressed, whatever it is, stare into a candle flame or imagine one and put all of those negative thoughts and energies and emotions and feelings into that and then blow it out into the universe, knowing that you have just let all of that go and you have now created a brand new path for yourself. It's like a new blank canvas, being able to paint who you are now, where it is you're going, what it is you want to do, and eventually who's going to be worthy for those of you who are single of, well, and I'm not doing love. I don't know where I got that message from. Who's worthy of coming in and works equally with you to create the same business concept. Listen to your intuition. Watch for either your shadow side or someone else's. Make sure everyone's honest. We are never trapped in a situation. There will be triumph. You will receive recognition and rewards. So in the next four to six weeks in your outcome position, and I know this is a month long reading, but these energies fluctuate for different people at different times. Spirit's trying to speak to you about the prosperity that is beginning. Again, they're saying set your goals. Make sure as you're setting goals to choose your goals wisely. Be very quiet in solitude. Because you will find that victory and success. No longer will you have to envy others for whoever that applies. And I never say that. So, all right, let's look at love. So if anyone who wants to date stamp, thank you for those who do. Um, the love stamp is 1949. All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn to the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. 
Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Gemini with clearly defined messages regarding their love and romance energies for the month of November 2017. Thank you. Okay, so the card representing your love life, your love energies right now around you at this time here on Earth are financial issues. Being a factor. Being separated from someone. On the horizon. Gosh darn it. Let's take a look and add the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland once again. For clarity. I often mix my cards because... I am constantly clarifying. It's just who I am. Okay. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Gemini with clarification when it comes to their love and romance energies into and through the month of November 2017. Wow. All right, so you guys could have two things going on at the same time. I can't ignore financial issues unless somehow they're tied to your heart. Or a connection and then there's a separation there may be someone in your life Gemini's who you're learning from there's great harmony but it's important to understand what that harmony what that connection is about is it what is it meant to teach us about ourself when it comes to our heart chakra In your thoughts position, some of you feel like you have connected with a past life relationship or someone from your past has taught you something or made you go within somehow because you've got spiritual strength here through someone else. That's what I'm feeling is you guys are learning about yourself through someone else and it's giving you spiritual strength. It's building your heart chakra. Even if you're trying to focus on career and finances, I feel like it's a separate thing. In your foundation, ask for help and support from others. As you make positive movement forward. So I still feel connecting with others, having discussions with others about business, and then kind of allowing your heart to heal. In the recent past, we had someone calling in their soulmate through their prayers and affirmations, but not wanting maybe to make a sacrifice. If I step into this new beginning that feels harmonious, Who helps me to open my heart who through this connection brought me spiritual strength and now I can move forward in a positive way in the next two to three weeks spirit saying um, it is uh, evident with this card that two people may have two different viewpoints when it comes to this connection Wow. You have the power to decide. Which perspective are you going to go with? Wow. The way you used to think? Or maybe something really focused to finances? Or someone tied to your heart and finances? Or... Allowing for the power of spiritual strength to come in and change up your way of thinking. Oh my Lord, that's crazy. All right, so in the next four to six weeks, we've got you guys being very attractive. Having great needs, desires, wants. You have control over deciding what it is you want to attract into your path. Spirit saying, free yourself from the thoughts that have kept you bound. It's time to take back control of your life. And how do you do that? You become very passionate and you think about what it is that you truly want. 
and you take the steps towards it. Self-fulfillment is peace, joy, and happiness. In your hopes and fears position, as you release and heal and understand that others come into our path so we can learn about ourselves, we have to forgive them. They didn't intentionally come in to harm us. We bring people into our path, whether we want to believe it or not, consciously, subconsciously, spiritually, because we needed to learn something. And once we understand what it is we needed to learn about ourselves, that's what's going to help us to tag it and let it go so that we can now enjoy more love in the present. Now, hopefully, you can speak your truth. Forgive and learn. There's, it's time for positive movement forward. Connect with others. In your outcome position, you have a strong magnetic attraction, and boom, something coming in much quicker than expected. Like a shooting star. Wow, chemistry just flying in. Now there is a card representing the entire reading and it speaks of paying attention to red flags. There could be triumph, but what kind of triumph is it really? You deserve love, spirit saying. Enjoy some time together if you feel discontented and bored, take a trip. But for some reason, your love life's being affected by children at this time, some of you, not all of you. In the next four to six weeks, it appears as though someone's gonna come back in from your past and you're going to receive recognition and reward for a job well done. Could be that financial person too, again, We'd have to clarify with your personal experiences. Um, Spirit's just saying, become aware of what great love is to you. With the magician energies, Spirit will guide you to manifest that. They're telling you that great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And then we see new love, and we see trying to balance with memories of old love. So we got to let things go. We got to know that the time has come. We're leaving a nine-year path. We're already in the one-year path. We should have decided or will be deciding soon what is best for us in our path so that we can decide what happens in our path for the next nine years. There's nine cards, nine planets, and we're in a number one year. 2017 is 10. 10 is one plus zero. We're starting off big. People are running everywhere trying to find the answers to both finance and love. And it really comes down to really stopping and saying, what fulfills me because that's what I'm going to do for the next nine years. So very important times. I find it interesting that tomorrow during the new moon that it's a number two because I think it's coming down to decisions which I've been saying for a while think about think about and now it's like we have the next four weeks of these energies to be able to observe and that's what's gonna save us look at spirit saying you deserve love Gemini's and I don't know if this First, when I saw this, I saw temptation. It's like he's putting his hand up to her. This is Cupid's arrow, trying to point to someone who had temptation and they're trying to tell you you're lovable. Wow, I've never seen that that way. And you may have romantic feelings for someone who's very caring and giving and loving and who does, is very spiritual. What is it you guys want to give birth to? They may wait, but they may not wait long because of your emotional loss. They're trying to have patience. They're trying to connect, if you guys know who this is, to you. 
at least give them an opportunity to allow the bond to deepen so that you can have a solid foundation in a friendship at least, is what I'm hearing. If all else fails, put them in the friendship zone. Who knows what can happen in the future, right? All right, thank you again for everyone stopping by. Again, if you want a reading, I'm at josiek42 at gmail.com. Um, your word of prayer to close with that we pulled earlier is patience. Go figure. I trust in divine timing. So to close, I'm going to read from the book. God's timing is perfect, as this card reminds you. When you pray for help, that request is heard and answered. If your prayer involves other people, their free will decisions influence the timing of the outcome. Heaven knows this and devises ingenious solutions that arrive at exactly the right moment. You receive this card as a reminder to have patience with God's plans and solutions. If you try to control, to force, or to push your own agenda, you may miss out on an infinitely better alternative. Ask Mother Mary to help you demonstrate her infinite patience and trust in God's timing. Know that people who receive personal readings from me tell me that they come back and listen to it throughout the energies of the month and a half to two months and that they find different messages each time they return. Feel free to use this as a spiritual tool to help guide you through your path in the month of November. Um, every time you listen, write down what you pull from the video and go and do some spiritual mirroring because we have a couple months left before big changes in January and I'm thinking about doing a December and January or even a three month reading here in November yes but we'll see thank you again for stopping by I hope to hear from you guys soon and I hope to see you again either in November or early December take care and God bless